I, I don't know. This is all new to me. That doesn't sound right. That being 709 on March 17th, they call the board of health meeting to order all members are present at this time, including our agent, health sharing. Um, we're going to move the agenda. I would like okay. to, uh, as we have someone that would like to um, come before the board, and he it's a little bit farther down, and since he's here, I just thought it would be easier for him to be able to speak first, and I can give you some background a little bit on this. Please. And Mike, you're welcome to come up forward if you'd like to. Shall I stand? Bring a seat? Bring no, the no, chair, bring please. Chair. Come on, right, sir. Um, Mr. LeBlanc, is it LeBlanc? Blondie. Blondie. It owns Skin Deep Tattoo on um, Route 18. And um, what I um, what wanted to talk to you a little bit about tonight was one of his uh, apprenticeship people uh, came before my came to my office probably almost two weeks ago and handed me his task apprentice sheet and I told him that I could not accept it based on the quotation marks and the dates um, in lieu of a little bit of background this person that um, is doing an apprenticeship at Skin Deep had previously done an apprentice, started an apprenticeship at a different tattoo shop. Um, it had subs subsequently terminated the apprenticeship at the um, previous tattoo shop. He wasn't able to obtain his records at this other place, so I wasn't able to be able to tell what he had done for prior work and said that he could start over his apprenticeship at Skin Deep, um, which he did on May 10th. Um, he since um, came in my office last week to hand in another task sheet and chose not to. Um, I haven't talked to him since, and instead the owner of this Skin Deep came to see me this morning and I could have you speak from there, but I believe if I say it correctly, you weren't aware of all of this. I'm not pleased. Correct. This yeah, so I have an amendment. He just felt like he wanted to come tonight to explain his part of we this. We don't do business like that. So. This is the revised one? Yes, ma'am. Okay. If you want to pass that around. Go ahead. Uh, Did I say that correctly? Would you I say would that? think that was okay. pretty much on point. Okay. Do you need to have this to talk? Or can you give it back? How about it? Okay. If you want to make copies, fine. I wouldn't mind having a copy for my records. Okay. And I have next hours. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I'm just embarrassed by the representation that the store got by a person who I think was a little bit moody. I mean, it is what it is. You know, there's no beating around it. What it is, is if you sign your packet, there is an apprenticeship task sheet. It's like having a, he's the supervisor that oversees this person, making sure that the procedures in order to get a practitioner's license for body art are met. Mm -hmm. Based on what I saw, I could not accept this task sheet, not only with the, the dates, as they are stated, but quotation marks all the way down. I explained that today. I also explained it to the uh, apprenticeship uh, apprentice uh, because I felt that it didn't at all state any sort of correlation of showing what it had been accomplished during the time he had been there. And that's why I brought it before the board. I know we're working on um, looking at the apprenticeship part, and I, I said um, today that, I, that I won, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about is I know there isn't a fee for uh, having an apprenticeship, um, but I do think we need to put a time limit as far as at least a renewal date, no different than a license, that if the apprentice hasn't finished the time span within a year of when they start the apprenticeship, I think they need to come in and renew that apprenticeship, just so we have some sort of um, accountability of where they're at. 
What is the, is there a state requirement for apprenticeship? No. Is there any state regulation? Over not, it? not in our regulation. What, what happened here, we had a lot of calls. So DPA doesn't have anything. DPH, not, so not that I, not in our, we have local regs. I understand that. I'm not, state I'd, reg that has I'd a, have to, there is. How many hours an apprentice has to do? Is, it's is that all established by the town, not by the it's, state? This is based, this is based on uh, a task sheet we found from a different town. Because what happened was we had people calling in that wanted to do apprenticeships at different places, and we had nothing as far as for an outline or hours or anything. So we developed this as a way to at least have some sort of um, documentation. Okay. But because of the, the situation, I feel like it's really important that we have some accountability to that part too of knowing because this could a, this could end up being you know ad nauseum in a, in a way if you don't put some sort of right. um, limitation or at least renewal piece on, on where they're at with it. Okay, but there is none right now, right? And there's nothing in our regulation or There's nothing right in now. our, no. Okay. There is an interim that is coming to start um, with me in the next couple of weeks. He has an MD. And I think it's one of the things I, I'd like to look into of developing some, you know, maybe some research Can into you this. Can my handwriting? But yes. um, I just think it's sort of an, an important thing we, sh we need to look at. Okay. Um, Mr. Blondie, are, yes, sir. Do you, you, are you the supervisor of the city? I'm the owner, and it all stops in these shoes. Okay. I'm responsible for that store. Do you have somebody who oversaw this young person? It was me. It was you. It was me. You. Okay. So these are your supervisor comments? Yeah, they are, sir. And. Uh, some of them, the, the, the questioning there I find, uh, I don't know the right word, but you might say redundant. Okay. If that, I, I might have the wrong vocabulary here. But we're, we're, uh, we need to have certain uh, certifications from uh, CPR, blood borne pathogens, f uh, first aid, a AID. And a lot of those questions there have to do with that. And uh, they would not have gotten their certifications if they didn't know how. To do that, and you can see they're attached on the back. Are you a certified tattooist? Yes, yes, sir. I think some of that, though, it's it's this is sort of what you call the field work versus this is looking at as if it's, it's sort of like taking the course, which you're talking about, you know, it's a certification, but this is the field work that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. And the only way that we would know that the field work is completed is by the comments from the supervisor showing where maybe the person's weaknesses or strengths are or what, whatever. So it's, it's sort of like a, a report. Yeah. I mean, my field as a nurse, we'd probably call it a practicum. I'm sorry. We'd probably call it a practicum as a nurse that you would have your, um, your classwork and then you would have to be precepted in the field and the preceptor with you on your practicum would have to fill out a form with very, probably a lot of what you're looking at as redundancies in terms of So the that's the real word then, I wasn't... <laughs> yeah, that might be redundant. It, may, it makes you know. sense, okay. But if anybody ever filled out any of those things that went back to the college where the student came from and put SAA, They'd left. meaning They'd left. same as above, those, that wasn't that supposed to get here. Right back. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to get here. So can I just ask a question since your, Please name, do. Is, since your name is yes. on this? Did you see this? Did you do this? I was scribbling on it, I won't say no, okay. but that's not so what was to be presented. Been, okay. The reason why I did the quotation marks okay. is Nick's been tattooing for years. All right, he worked at Fantasy, okay. whatever that one is down the street there. Okay. And uh, I brought with me 10 months of his work okay. at that store that wasn't recognized before. The man knows what he's talking about. Okay. I know what I'm talking about. And if you're a teacher, yeah. it's, it's, I'm running, I'm being humble here. Yeah. that I've got to say, okay, this is how he does it, and write it out. You know, but he is a very qualified person. He's very clean. He adheres to all the rules and regulations. It's just that he had a hissy fit, and that's embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. It's when, you know, from your perspective, he knows his stuff. You have to tell us how he knows his stuff. The fact that his tattoos look great doesn't tell me he knows anything about anything. But... If you have to present to us information that substantiates that this gentleman has met the requirements mm -hmm. for a licensure? That That's why we have an amended copy. Then, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Then, you know, we You're have welcome, a right Sharon. to question. Absolutely, I have no question. I mean, this is public health. Fit, but <laughs> yeah, this is for public safety. You <laughs> yeah. don't want any Tom, Dick, and Harry out there hurting the public yeah. or trying to say they know what they're doing. 
because sadly enough, there are some licensed people okay. that uh, don't pay much attention. Yeah. And if something were to happen in a negative connotation, planned or unplanned, as you say, the ball stops. It later. stops right in these <laughs> shoes. I am responsible. Yeah, it does. Thank you. Okay, so we, d we now have an amended apprenticeship form with the detailed information we yes. were looking for. I hope that's what you need. Do you, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Since the dates are so vastly different, mm -hmm. they are. Do you, which, I mean, are you, do you feel pretty assured that these, these are the correct dates? For Those dates on the amended one are when the uh, first aid and, and blood borne pathogens, I went back to refer to them, all right, because I can't print well. And to say what I want to say is it's long. And so the certifications on the back the copies of the certifications, which I believe you have the larger copy of them. You know, he passed the exams, knowing what to do and what not to do. He practices that in uh, practicality in the store. Now, Nick is in there at sometimes, I've seen, I, I go in early. He's in there sometimes, 9 o'clock, I've seen him going to do drawing. He starts to get serious around 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And he'll stay till, till 9, 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, I think he's got more than enough hours on my store, not counting the 10 months he had in the other store. And here I have copies, I don't know if the copies are originals, of, all right, this is. And these are his hours, you're saying? That's his hours, yes. This is, uh, what was the date? 2413 at the other store, the month of February. And we have the month of January. Uh, and then we go back to March of 12 when he started there. And uh, there is a handful of those. If you'd like to peruse them, please feel free. Oh. All I ask is you put them back in the same spot because I'm not good at this stuff. Can I, can I ask you one quick question? Yes, dear. Um, yeah, excuse me. On this sheet, it says that uh, his apprenticeship signature next to it started May 2nd, 2013. And so you wrote yours, him on May 10, no, he, I think it was the 15th. The 10th, but he, as far as I knew, was still working at the other place. I have a letter here saying it was terminated May 7th. Um, he came to work for me. He came to me. I don't think he put in the uh, a month of the. Uh, would you like to, uh, like to keep on going? Keep on going. With these, okay. This is. Uh, would you like to see these as well? Or, no, okay. uh, I apologize, maybe it was May 1st. Yes, okay. I would believe that might be right. And, uh, wait, what was the date on this, Maggie? Three, March. And evidently, there was a conflict of personalities with, uh, what is it? Can I, can I say that? Can I? Please. Okay. He left there with a bad taste in his mouth as long as the owners. For whatever given reason, I wasn't there. But he came to me. I put him on. You know, I've known Nick and his family for years. You know, when Nick was a little boy. Well, we have to, we, we do have, well, I mean, we, we have to follow the, our health regulations, but we, we, with you being a supervisor and being experienced with two we have to rely on what you I say agree. Is, is, is fact, and, and that we're basically putting the, the, the benefit of the doubt on your shoulders because you're, you're the expert, you're the one who's the supervising. You're I'm the one supposed who me, to know. And you should know. You, you, know, you should be able to tell me he is or isn't. And being the fathead that I can be sometimes, of course he is. It's all, you know, he's doing good, otherwise I wouldn't have had him. But right. again, that doesn't follow the criteria here. It doesn't follow what you people want to see. And I up. I'm at the, at the bottom of this, and that's all we're going to do if there's no issue. Um, 
You just want to do what's right, that's all. I do as well. I did not know that was presented. Oh, that's not good. That's, it's not good when the boss doesn't know what's being presented. That's, that hurts a little bit. So. You think? Yeah, just a little bit. I'm going to call his mother and have him taken over. My, he, he was working nonstop for months and months. Like yes. 12-hour 12, 12 days. Absolutely. He was in there. I bet you. I don't think he had a day off for two months. Well, I mean, is, it, it shows it there. Yeah, it, but this is more like almost the, every entire, day. the entire sequence is... Let me say this to you. Wow. When it comes to working and making money, mm -hmm. a boy's hungry. He's got a child to support, you know, and he does a bang-up job. Now he's working. His schedule is 13 days in a row. And on that... I don't know where this goes. Nick, you're going to have to forgive me. I'll put it upside down. I don't even know these other people. Uh, and then he works... Uh, he work a week and the weekend total. Then the next week he'll work that week and have the weekend off to be with his daughter. And then it goes back to 13 days in a row. That he just had that change because of a revision in uh, his personal life and responsibilities. Are you governed by the same 40 hour work week as everybody else? We don't do that. I don't know how that else. works. That in doesn't your work. Field. No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm there most of the time. Well, I'm getting older. I used to be there at 9 o'clock. Okay. All right? Do everything. I'm divorced. Okay. I got no life. You know, so um, that's my life. That's my mistress. You know, and I'm there all the time. And I found it quite pleasing to show up at 10 o'clock and see his caveat. And he's the last one out. Do you ever concern yourself that he's there too many hours? Because that's no, I don't. Too much. I haven't seen any failure in his work. And if I do see failure, yeah. they're taking time off. Period. I mean, like I said earlier. It's my store. Okay. It's my reputation. No matter what goes on in that store, it's Michael Blondie and Skin Deep. Someone gets a tattoo in my store, no matter if it's good, bad, or lousy, someone's going to ask you, where'd you get that? And people aren't stupid. Mm. You know, and you don't stay in business for doing bad work. Now, has he been, I remember when I did that um, Shadowing with Sharon that day, and we were in your store. Is he been? Is he good about filling in the forms with all the correct information anytime a new customer comes in with the age and everything else? Sharon has been very generous and shown me a great deal of charity with that. Okay. And yes, <laughs> we all are. Um, yeah. Any questions? No. So is the question at the end that it, has he done enough work as an intern to be satisfactory? satisfactory? I, I believe that's where we would have to accept what his supervisor has said. Okay. And but what my original piece was, because this only happened today of, of mm -hmm. Mr. Blondie coming to see me, was because I was concerned with what we had originally received yep. because it didn't have anything Terrible. on it and it, I was it was almost like in a, almost an impossibility to have completed that, that many hours in that short of time period I didn't think yeah. see this is not a, a nine to five job yeah. you know we work many different hours and uh, I have never seen a studio that would have a nine to five job. Mm. I mean, I've seen places and I've even considered it, you know, because I want to slow down. It's opening at nine and closing at midnight and having split shifts mm -hmm. for people. Yeah. If people had, uh, artists were willing to do something like that and they had their own clientele, I won't work, I'll run the desk. Yeah. You know, I'll just drive the desk and yay for me, you know? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. Sharon? He certainly put his hours in, so. I mean, th those are the hours. I, and I'm not judging, because um, I, I assume the tattoo parlor has to work in the evenings, and I'm assuming yes. the tattoo parlor has yeah, to work I'll in the Yeah, I'll have them in the evenings. Because a lot of people can't do this nine to five, because they're doing their nine to five job to make the money to have their tattoo done in the first place, so. Um, and I know um, the artiste part of this is, is you're not always tattooing, but you have to have constantly drawing, drawing pictures in your mind, and drawing pictures on, 
paper just to get your mind washing along. So I, I assume a lot of this is uh, in-depth self-training or, or resketching art and stuff like that. So you become proficient. It's a lot of erasers. Yeah. So um, it's done on a needle. It's on a pencil. I, I, I would think with the paperwork you've submitted now, Sharon uh, and uh, as our health agent um, and the board will take into consideration everything that's been presented and. Uh, I think we should have a conversation after you leave. Fine. And then whatever we need to do after that, we'll go go with it. But I think you've met at least the requirements of file, filling out the form in detail and the, the, submitting the amount of hours of work he's done. And the fact that you came forward and, and have presented your case to us shows that you your your interest in this individual it's my is sincere. And uh, you know. I appreciate that. It's I appreciate being it. heard at such a short notice. No, well, we, we've, uh, we've, we've tried to turn that around a little bit, a little bit better. And Sharon is, not, I have to, again, fall upon Sharon. Sharon tries to be fair and equal to almost every case, to every person that comes through the office and does whatever she can to benefit the, the person who needs assistance. So um, I put all that to uh, the onus on Sharon, feeling that this needed, needed this session and needed this warrant. And the fact I think that you're right. To come. I, I, I would not disagree with that. If I was presented what, she, what Sharon was presented with, that would be a little less generous. Yeah, well, she's would not. Be. That's the good news. Yeah. She's been, she's been, a, she's been know, a wonderful uh, person since the day she walked in the door, and, and uh, this is just another, another sample of how, how lucky this town is to have a health agent that's this dedicated and, and wants to resolve issues this quickly. So. I appreciate it. Uh, does anyone else have any questions for Mr. Blondie? Uh, the, the only thing I think would be nice is just to um, have Nick show some of his work. Do you have any of his work? Do Glad you asked. Okay. Mm -hmm. I had nothing to do with organizing this because you know my organization skills. Yes, we do. <laughs> Even I know. A work in progress, shall we say. That's awful. Yeah. That's just awful. And I gotta say, this is the very first time I've ever seen anybody ask for uh, for licensure the, the, the work. You know, that's fine with me. No. You know, I well, mean, it's, and, and, and any tat any tattooist in his right mind should have. Art. Well, we have we have our art there. Yeah. And uh, I stopped producing my pictures because some people would come in and they'd take them out of the book and say, "Oh, look what I did!" You know, when they're trying to start something up. So I just put them online. Oh, that's that's. You, you know, would, I have one of them electric things. Yep. That, that for the grandkids. <laughs> And I believe that they might be da uh, Do you mind if I show the other done according to yes, size. I'm sorry. Yeah. Excuse me, please. Those are the marks. I want to tell you, that boy's talented. I'm lucky to have him. But he is worse than hairdressers. Is there anything worse than hairdressers? I was one for 40 years. Oh my God. Yeah, I used to teach it. Oh. You know, it was a color was for gold. You went to be a hairdresser <laughs> to, no, to be a That's what I thought. Oh. That you is know, how I knew uh, <laughs> Well, Linda, you can appreciate that comment. You know, sometimes people have a head so big, it can't fit through the door. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, they're asked to leave. And Nick came real close today. I won't stand for any disrespect for anybody. My mother raised a gentleman. So did Very his good. mother. Nothing wrong with that. I love those. Come see us. Aren't they beautiful. May I ask you a personal question? <laughs> you from South or Dorchester? <laughs> no, I did that when I was very young, down Virginia Beach. Okay, you're allowed. But I did live in both places at one point. I grew up in South. I'm a child rat. <laughs> <laughs> and were these done all out of your um, yes. supervision? They're very good. You know, sometimes I have to be honest with you people. I don't want to go in the room because it's, it's not a waste, it's just <coughs> bothering them. I'm proud of these boys. I'm, excuse my English, I'm pissed at Nick for his attitude. I'm an artist also, besides being a hairdresser, so I appreciate a lot of 
Well, the art. Have you ever thought about sitting down and making a living? <laughs> I have actually. Come see me. Have you seen the smaller ones? The bigger ones. Oh, come anyway. see me. I always want to improve my business and back off a little bit. <laughs> Did you want to keep those, Sharon? I believe no, I that you're more than welcome I don't, to. I don't, I don't think that's necessary. Alrighty. Do you agree? I don't think that we need to keep. But thank you for showing them. I appreciate it. Isn't that part of the deal? <laughs> yes, I wanted to see some, what it, yes, it, the achievement level. Wow. Okay. That goes back to him, I believe. Well, thank, thank you. you for coming in. I appreciate Listen, thank you very it. much for yeah. being as charitable as you have been. Thank you. <laughs> what one was that? <laughs> I didn't. Uh, the color is incredible. I know, I love the colors. I love the flowers. The flowers. So I'm going to put down we received this one today, all right? <laughs> well, that's just what so, I dated it for. Yeah, just so I have record of it. Okay. okay. All right. Mr. Blyman, thank you for coming in. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Mr. Manning. Pleasure to make you. Pleasure to make you a great also, sir. Very nice to meet God you. God bless. Very nice to meet you. You too. <laughs> very nice to see you again. Stay healthy. Can I get a copy of this and drop it off to you tomorrow? Sure, sure can. Okay. Because <laughs> I know you want a copy back, but I want to keep one too. Keep it. I'll come down and get it. Okay. And these are for us? Those are, uh, yeah. Thank you. All right. Thank you this, very much. Right. I appreciate thank you, your sir. time. Have thank you for coming in. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, good evening. Bye. Bye. Um, <clears throat> correct me if I'm wrong, but you don't need anything else from the board on this issue, unless you... Well, if you feel satisfied with what he has presented, which is important that you feel satisfied, mm -hmm. if you do, I can... Um, Ask him, to tell him that he can apply for a, a practitioner's license. But I want you to feel satisfied with what you've also seen because I brought this to the attention of the board based on um, the original task sheet. So I would ask your opinion as the specialist on this do you feel that he has met the criteria that it has to be met to issue a license at this stage? This, he has his um, first aid, he has his CPR, he has his HB series mm -hmm. vaccines, he has his skin course. This is what happened. they are up to date. Yes, okay. well we let them know when they're not. Okay. What happened was he, when he originally applied, there was no history of showing where he had worked before. Okay. This was what he chose to do because he couldn't prove that to me okay. as a showing of a history. We have to base it a lot on what his supervisor has stated, that he is competent okay. in the practical work of it. Okay. I can tell you that he's up to date in the uh, certification part of it. Okay. So. And we see the time sheet, so we know he's put in the time. We have to base and, it on what they gave us, yes. Right. Yeah. And, and we saw we saw the work, which you don't learn that overnight. No. For you, I, 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 I yeah, the odd number of hours in the work, the photo work alone, uh, proves to me that at least the young man knows what he's doing. So I, okay. I think we're all right as long okay. as he meets your. Whatever well, our current requirements well, all I, are. All I can say is this is what we, they do in lieu of if there isn't some sort of history behind that they've shown okay. that they had experienced somewhere else. Okay. All right. So I just okay. think it's uh, But thank you for taking them first because of this no. is the waiting. Um, with that, I just wanted to update you really quickly on the, um, the other situation we had. Um, the, the alleged complaint, um, I spoke to um, the police chief and he asked me to call the person that made the complaint to inform them that they had a right to file a complaint with the police department. I did that, um, told them the information, explained that we had talked to the, the I brought it before the board and one of the board members has spoken to the police department regarding it, and this was the uh, advice the police chief had given us. 
Um, and the person said, okay, thank you. And I spoke to, the police chief called me the other day and said that he had not heard from the person making the complaint. Um, I called back and just said to him, is there anything else that, um, you know, that we need to either forward to him? He said, well, he doesn't take anonymous complaints and that I did my due diligence by informing the person the procedures of how to make a complaint with the police department. So I just wanted to let you know that's where this stands. Good. All right. Cop all site schedule. Hold on. <laughs> Chuck. Mm -hmm. She needs a drink for that. Thank you. Slange. We have, um, <laughs> we are opening April 5th. We are set for um, the compost being um, open all through May. Um, uh, of Saturdays, I should say, in May. I mean, in April, I'm sorry. And then May, we have the two dates that we, we're closing May 10th because it's yard waste week, yard waste pickup week. Okay. And the 31st because it's the fifth Saturday in May. Uh, I'm going to ask, uh, we do have two people that are willing to volunteer their time right now. Mm -hmm. One, um, came in our office this morning asking when the compost was starting, the site was going to be open, and we explained the situation, <laughs> and he said he was happy to help out periodically, and another one, uh, another gentleman has, has also agreed that he could step in, but I'm just going to put a plea out that if anyone is interested in volunteering from 9 to 2 at the Groveland Street compost site to please call the health department and we can fill them in on the education part of it would be greatly appreciated. Did we get it on the selectman's um, agenda? Well I'm going to put it on the um, I'm going to put it on the town website well, cable and then the selectman's. As far as we can only do it as volunteers. I, I, I can't do it as the senior center th I mean the uh, senior rebate. I could do it as saying volunteer so. But we can have it announced at the Yes, I certainly will. Yeah. But I just want to put it out for now here. So did the selectman make a decision not to uh, allow for any more? I don't believe it's the selectman. I think it's the senior rebate program that has so many slots and, um, and hours that have to be the criteria of it. So, so we used to have sl four slots. This has been my argument. We had... Um, Lorraine is going to help down there, but she's also choosing to do other things with her time. Mm -hmm. We had one person pass away mm -hmm. that um, we have one person that is still on, Mr. Demoulis, uh, De, 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 I hope I didn't kill his name, Mel. And then we <laughs> had one person that was sharing their hours with their wife mm -hmm. and then volunteering the other time. But I'm just being told that there isn't any more op right. openings right now. All right. So, so all, all, the only only part that I have on this thing is that if we, if we do not find at least two volunteers to be there, then we won't be open. Correct. That's, that's just. And we're trying right now just to do it month or month by month, month, week by week, as far as we can fill in. So I just I just want the citizens of the town to know that that it's it's. Uh, we have a requirement that at least two adults be there at all times. And uh, if we can't fill that because we don't have volunteers um, or anyone that can take it for the hours, then we won't be open and they'll have to be patient with us. Um, and I said strongly urge that they call the office on a week by week basis just to make sure it will be open so that we don't have um, people dumping stuff outside the gate, That's which I do not well, want. We, we, do, exactly we, we do have a sign that's going to be posted that says right now the dates that are open at least April and May. Okay. Yeah. Great. That will probably be put up in this, this obviously, this next couple of weeks. But it's important that the townspeople know that uh, we, we, we were able to increase the amount of time that we had it open the past couple of years, and that's because we had four positions that, ha that were able to take advantage of this senior rebate program well, mm -hmm. all of a sudden we don't have that available to us correct so it's purely volunteer and that may not work as well no i don't i i'm, I'm, I'm 
I'm nervous about it. I, I think it was a great service to the town. I thought it was I thought it was used by a lot of people, and by not being open on a regular, consistent basis, we're going to have uh, the Dumping gate issues, blocked yeah. by yard waste, and people are going to be angry. Okay. <coughs> Anything else to be said on the compost site? Do we have, I think I've had the senior that. rebate. This is all news to me. The was a senior rebate program has been in place for a long time. Uh, but it was we had four. The Board of Health had four Plotted slots. positions for that. And now we have purpose. one? No, we have... A half of one? We one. have one, two, actually, no. and then... No, we have three. I'm sorry, three right now. We have uh, Lorraine, Mel. Mel, and this gentleman named Nick, who um, is going to be starting in May. Okay. On the senior... Program. Yes. All right. we just, but we're not going to have Lorraine all summer. Part of the summer. So that's the problem. We had four... All summer, for the, but she to cover all year. Lorraine, Lorraine chose to do something different, and, and yeah. I, can, I yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. But the board of health at the compost site lo is losing because we do no, no longer have four full full positions. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, we're not blaming you. This no, no. I want it to be clear to the townspeople because we're going to hear about it <laughs> if we don't have it. But okay. so we go month to month. Right now, we're good for April and May. Yes. Okay. Um, the fee schedule, uh, the start date for the, the fee schedule. I think we talked about this last time that we, we, we wanted to vote. The I fee schedule will start on July 1st of 2014. Yes, and I also wanted to find out if there's any criteria that I need to do to make sure that's known. I assume we have to, do we have to post it? We didn't change anything. Yes, we did. Yeah. We changed the, we reduced the um, that that when you guys made some catering calls. fees. Oh, that's right. And we redefined, uh, clarified um, the septic system application permit and certification, and we added a re a, um, re inspection for body art and tanning. Those and are the changes. Was there a, a, a nod of suggestion of adding uh, a fee for an apprenticeship for body art? It was, but it was voted not to by this board. Okay. Yeah. No, I voted for it. <laughs> okay, but it was two voted against it, so. Yes. Yeah. But I do think it would be a good idea to at least do the renewal. You know, that once after yes. they f finalize for a year, they haven't brought in their hours, that they come in to renew to see where they're at. So that has more to do with the application for Correct. the purchase than it does for the fee for right. the purchase. Okay, so. But we could send out a letter that goes with that, yeah. All right, I, I believe we have to, I believe we have to, if we make a change, we have to post those changes to the fees, and we have to have it posted for 30 days, um, and I think we have to give the public, um, if they want to complain about it, they have the right to come to complain about it before it goes into effect, so I, I think that's what we have to do. I think we have to post the new fees, give the town people 30 days to... Do you want me to look into it to see yeah. what they... I can find well, out I think, what I think that's what we, that, that, that's what okay. we did before. We let, changed me, the rates let me look into it before we do anything and I'll find out exactly what we're supposed to do. That being said, I vote to uh, the, set the fee rates to go into effect July 1st, 2014 that we've discussed already. I would second that. So voted in seconds. Is there anything further to say on that? All in favor say aye. 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 Or zero, zero. I'll look into it. <coughs> Temporary food permits. Am I looking at the right agenda? Yes, you are. Okay. Yeah. Um, as I said to you before, I, I, I uh, I was approached uh, by Rick Roberts um, up at the soccer field because the um, he wanted to, he wanted to know what he had to do if he wanted to sell uh, packaged goods and soda up there if they're not going to open it up for regular. And I think we discussed this that there's nothing special they need to do. They don't need to have anyone food safe certified. Not, to do that. not if it's prepackaged food. No, they would need to come in and uh, apply for an application for a permit, though. Okay. Yeah. So uh, all we would need to tell them that he had to apply for a permit. If he's going to sell prepackaged food, then they could go ahead and do that this fall. Yeah, I just would need. It says it on the form where the source of the food's coming from, and 
what they're serving. Okay. Uh, so I will tell you the last um, most recent event, St. Patrick's Parade, Day Parade, I had three people come in my office to apply for temporary food permits that I was aware of. And they all came in um, in the appropriate time with the appropriate um, materials and or they were all permitted. Um, I don't know of any other, to my knowledge, any other folks that served food that wasn't licensed yesterday, but um, those are the three that I was aware of. Okay. Yeah. It's nice to get good news once in a while. <laughs> I'm going to jump down to the health agent report just because I want to. Okay. Um, <laughs> there hasn't been um, a lot of changes. A lot of these that you see on here are reinspections. I did of updating um, from prior um, inspections of addresses like the Bedford Street one. I'm going back to the end of March. I did open um, a new bakery. Uh, 700 Brockton Ave, I pop cakes, specialty cakery. Last week, um, China Eatery kept, um, they just changed the, the, the person who owns the property, it went from a family member to a different family member, but because of that, they had to renew their, not renew, apply for a new license, food license, with, a, uh, with an inspection. And then um, um, E Sig Barn is, um, a nicotine um, shop, and they um, they only sell um, the I can't say e, -c e cigarettes. I'm sorry, um, and it's where uh, Brennan Smoke Shops was on uh, Route 18 in, on Bedford Street, and he is also choosing to sell um, retail I mean prepackaged food. The other thing, um, just as an update is I did do a lead determination inspection at 558 Washington Street last Monday because there was a child living there under the age of six. There was positive findings of lead paint and um, I sent a notice to correct the order to the owner. Is that still five feet from the base up? Yeah, five feet below. Um, and I did a septic bed bottom and final inspection for a new soil absorption system at 172 Jean Carroll Road. There was a new complaint that I did last week at 500 North Quincy Street. It's part of Abington Glen. Um, there was some issues with housing code violations and then I've been trying to get a hold of the owner to uh, do a lead paint inspection. Um, the building was built in 1971, but the um, law states that if a building is built before 1978, you do have to do a lead determination inspection. It's quite likely that this one might end up being, if I don't find any positive after 20, you do 20 um, if, um, cuts or testing, then you send it as a referral to the state. Otherwise, if you, f you, you do, do six cuts and you find one, you can stop one is positive so that's how it works um, so I've been trying to get a hold of the tenant to arrange a time to do the inspection for the determination of lead paint the only updates I want to give you if it's all right is the rabies clinic um, is going to be April 12th from 10 to 12 and the town clerk is going to be available to license dogs um, the only other thing I just want to add is last Thursday Suzanne DeJesper was our Council on Aging director and I attended an all-day seminar training, I should say, which was, I think, excellent in Randolph for emergency preparedness. There was many folks there from Randolph Police Department, Randolph Fire Department, Milton um, Hospital, South Shore Hospital, other health agents, and we were broken up into groups of logistics, operations, and uh, planning, and did like a mock seminar to do with like meningitis and other issues and it was very educational so and I got my certificate but I just wanted to tell you that um, I, f I felt and it they said it took two years in the making to put this together the other pr person there which I was very impressed was the town manager and the regional director of MEMA 
was um, at the, uh, oh, and also people from uh, Department of Public Health, Epi, Epidemiology were there also. So it was very, it was a very good training. Good. Um, there's also a uh, emergency preparedness phone call being done tomorrow? Tomorrow at 10, for those that are on the list, yeah. Um, for those who don't understand that, there's a, uh, several members of the board are on the list to be called, um, and we have to, we try to respond as quickly as possible. So just so they get an action time of how quickly we respond to the calls. Correct. And it's also based on a deliverable. <laughs> the more positive, quick calls, the better the deliverable looks. Okay. Yeah. Um, review of the Board of Health job descriptions. I can't answer that one because I'm not quite sure what it's about. So um, I guess an email went to Mary just asking for it. Here I asked. Okay. Um, I forget where the discussion was around why I asked for that. Well, two weeks ago. Okay. I wasn't here. Yes, I was. No, no, and it wasn't at the meeting. Oh. Um, well, I think it's essential that we, everyone here on the board has an idea of what, what the actions of the health agent and her assistant uh, in the office are. Um, and uh, it, it should be read and determined if you, if you are amazed what, what she's supposed to accomplish in an in a eight-hour time frame. Can so, I interject something? Since July 3rd. I, I actually was thinking of emailing them to you. I've kept a log, Mary and I have kept a log, of every single complaint that's come in our office outside of our normal, my normal routine mandatory inspections that I have to do for food and other things. As of today, I think there's either 87 or 88 separate complaints. Um, the other part uh, with the job descriptions, Mine, at least, I can speak about, is pretty outdated in a lot of ways. There isn't anything to do with the fact that I oversee another uh, employee mm -hmm. or that I write, try to write grants. The town manager did want me to express that we are in the process of looking into a larger level for all employees to see what track everyone's on. Um, what do you mean by that? that they're, I think, are thinking of either hiring someone or looking into where everyone is at, all town employees, with their job descriptions, as far as I know, of, of seeing if they're within the same boundaries as other towns and, you know, they're... And keep them current, too. Keep the them current, correct, yeah. So, okay. um, now, Lorraine's just uh, speaking for Lorraine, um, in the next few months, it, it's, it's going to be a description from what DEP requires okay. because it's grant, but the only thing we could find with hers was the original ad. <laughs> but okay. and, and what about the chief clerk? I mean, um, there's no requirements. I can't, I mean, that's what Mary gave yeah. me. Yeah. Um, no, I didn't know if there was a job description. That I was she, wondering she, if she, 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 she said there was not a job description um, for her. Uh, but that she's a, in the union for the clerical union, and that's what she provided me for um, what her duties were. Okay. But she said there is not a So how do you job apply for a job here, whether it be this position or something else? Civil service. What is civil service? In order to work in state and federal, I mean state, federal, and local government, there's a call, there's a employment agency called civil service. Okay. And the civil service office for Massachusetts is located in Boston. Okay. And the civil service publishes job descriptions and job publications for state agencies. There's a federal civil service for federal jobs. Okay. And there's a state civil service for state jobs. Okay. Town employment can be considered state employment uh, and follow the civil service, or it can be done at the town level and hired at the town level. They generally use civil service job requirements and they use general, uh, generally use job descriptions from civil service when they're hiring at a local okay. level. I have not been involved with the town as far as hiring employees and what okay. they do um, 
since before I came on the board. I, I used to get involved when I was just a citizen. Uh, I used to look into it, but I believe the town would use the state civil service descriptions of employment for town jobs, um, or the town can write their own job descriptions for town jobs. So, so maybe the union has a, 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 all, a general all, all I can tell you is what Mary told me was that they don't have any job descriptions. Oh, so the union doesn't either? Correct. Oh, okay. And that's what, that's right. what she, she went and asked her um, union rep, and um, she said they were told they, they didn't have any. Okay. And that, that's what she wrote up for her. Uh, what I wonder she what they used for an advertisement. I have no idea. I don't see how you Because you said you use this, your advertisement mm. for Lorraine, which is pretty yes. good. Well, we wrote that yeah. up. The, yeah. the, board, the board, when we were looking into this originally, uh, uh, we, we as a board were looking at what we felt was needed, you know, duties for that particular job. Is this Josh you're talking about? No, we're okay. talking about uh, the trash and okay. compliance officer, and it, and obviously Lorraine has expanded much more than that from what it originally started. Um, my job description was issued to me, and it's a pretty standard job description for what health agents do across the state. It, I will say it's a little antiquated, <laughs> and Bob was one of the people, I will say, uh, grateful to that did appoint me. Um, he was here the night I came in here to be interviewed. But um, I have not seen a lot of job descriptions mm -hmm. since I've been here. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. State hasn't, like this, the state hasn't had a, an exam for, for a tax collector since 1989. So there's, if, you, if you get hired now in the state job, yeah. you're using the qualifications of a 1989 tax collector because they haven't modified the job description until they post it. And when they post it, it's at the, at the, it's at the uh, department head level. Okay. And the department head level can do pretty much whatever they want as long as they stay in the guidelines of the job description. So they can add or delete job functionalities as they've changed. But the basic description of the tax collector is still the same basic description of the tax collector. I know that years and years ago, when Bob's talking about civil service, when I first started this position, I had to take a civil service test in code enforcement, which was one, and sanitarian, which was one, just to get into the field. And you had to pass it. I don't even know if they do civil service exams anymore for, for, for those particular avenues of employment. They still, but, they still exist, but they just don't do it for a lot of job titles. Anymore. Yeah, but, I, but that's how far back that goes. And I th you know, it's almost obsolete, I think, in, in some ways, yeah. So um, you said the town manager is looking into coming up with job descriptions. Yes, overall. I mentioned to him today that this was on the agenda, and he just wanted to make make sure that you folks knew that um, it is something that's on his list. Okay. Yeah. Good. Yeah. It's just really hard to look at this as a list of duties, as all this is, and then I look at the on Sharon's recommended minimum qualifications, special right. requirements, mm -hmm. knowledgeability, skills, physical requirements. All of those are on every application I have ever filled out, and even when I worked for the county as a nurse. And I, I'm kind of surprised that it's completely missing in terms of a chief clerk, quote, job description. There is nothing here that says what you have to be qualified to mm -hmm. do. Do you keep up your skill level in X, Y, and Z, computer, or this, that, and whatnot. Are there evaluations that are done here? Job evaluations yearly? In the town hall? Yeah. I assume there is. I've never done a job evaluation. I'm I didn't say you. No, but I, I meant I for my for my I assume there is. Yeah, and I wasn't specifically meaning you. I'm just I saying know. that I, I don't, every I, I job don't know. has to have some uh, kind of a yearly evaluation, don't they? And what are they based on evaluation? That's, that's not true. Um, no, you should should <laughs> have should have yes. I don't. Okay. I don't. I can't speak you know for what Rick. The I, have, job. I can't speak for Rick and what he does as far okay. as town administration of, of the job okay. titles and how they how they review them. I don't know that. Would have to go to the manager to find out. The town manager. Okay. I don't know what they currently do. Um, but I do have a I do have a note to send Rick a letter asking what they do and how they do it. Okay. So I'll CC you a vote on that one. I do think there's also issues because some of these positions are part of a union. Right. Yeah. So, um, but I do think it's, I think part of it, I'm assuming, is maybe because we haven't have a, had 
continuity. I mean, at least since I've been here, we've had several town managers. Yeah, we used to. And I, there might be an issue that. with just continuity of that, you know, and hopefully it will get updated at some point. I will say that at one point I was perusing the Abington website, just looking at different things, and I was able to pull up what was supposedly a job description. I don't mean to be harping on the chief clerk one, but it was at least a board of health chief clerk duties, which looked extremely, at least more comprehensive of what, there's still just duties. It has nothing to do with your requirements and your, what your capable, you know, what your knowledge skill is so and you got that on the website? <coughs> so some of them are still here. I mean, that just that just goes into more detail on some of the things that are listed oh. here. It does. Oh. So. so I'm just but it is just her curious. duties. It doesn't say it's still just duties. how she's has, qualified and to it's perform not, those duties. It's just a position. Mm. So it's a position that we're looking at. It's like, how do you expect a position to be responsible for something if the qualifications were never mentioned in the job application. Yeah, I'm looking at, at one of the, the jobs, attending meetings, and that hasn't happened in right. quite a while. And that, yeah. I'm not even sure, even if, when Phil was here. Yeah. So yeah, this is outdated, but I'm curious that we have this on the website, but nobody knows about it. <laughs> That's Mary well, Mary wrote up the one that she the list of things provided yeah. because yeah yeah, yeah. everybody should know she should know she does the job so yeah, well, I'm interested in hearing what Rick has to say about you know does have a little more detail thank you okay dokey okay dumpster regulations um, it's March. 17, um, and I just would like the board to consider that um, we we should make we should make some final mm. process as far as the basic requirements for commercial business to have to have non permittable off the ground type of bedding for all dumpster services, and we should set a standard by when that goes into effect. And we have to, when we do that, if we're going to just to begin the process of getting that done, we have to do have to post that for 30 days for public comment and then have an initial time frame of when it's going to affect. And I just would like the board to. Uh, I don't know if you necessarily have to have 30 days. I think it, we'd have to have similar to what we did with the. the as we'd have to post in the newspaper and have a public, public hearing. hearing on it similar to what we did with the tobacco rights. So I just, I would just like to. Point out to the board that I would like to have a, that vote take place before the April 15th. So, given that it's April 7th, we have one more meeting in March and one meeting in April. One of those two meetings, I'd like to I'd like to get that vote if everyone's in agreement. We could get at least the start of the process going. Um, addressing simply commercial businesses and simply getting them off the ground and onto some kind of solid surface pad or whatever you want to call it um, and however far you want to take that now uh, if you just want to have it on a pad for now and then vote additional regulations as we move forward as far as getting it fenced in um, or if you want to vote in fencing it in now and get that out of the way um, and then we started looking addressing any other dumpster issues that we feel we need to address uh, with that regulation coming forward or we can handle, handle them all now and pound them out and, and put them in the regulation to, and get it out there. And like I said, I wanted to give the community at least a six month lead to give them time to get it in place so they're not being rushed in 30 days to have this in place, but um, it would be nice to have it for the reinspection for next year when they, when they apply for their permits. To, that, that would be another part of the check that we would do as part of our inspection of their operation. So, uh, if I would like to leave the dumpster regulation on for our next meeting and have that be our principal discussion, okay. uh, if that's all right with the board, um, and to, to knock that one off unless we have something emergency to come up between now and two weeks from now, I'd like to make that our number one review and make some decisions on that unless the board has something else to set. That's just my opinion. Um, vouchers assigned. 
Is there any other correspondence that came in that we need to discuss? If there isn't any within uh, your box, no. No, there was one thing from January that had to do with I said, um, uh, Ellen, Ellen are so sure that they are informing us the availability of the response action outcome ROA statement um, that's available. If you want to get a copy, you can we can go up there and get it. But that's the only thing that I have in the box that's stated in January that I haven't seen before. So I'd, I'd be the first to admit that I don't know what that means on our on our way. But I'm assuming it has something to do with the I mean, let me, I have, I would have the to property look. and how the, how it's being used or utilized or something to that effect. So I see that letter. Oh, they send out these periodically. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The only, thing I would, the only thing I would like, just for my own, if it's, because this is a whole other added piece to um, in my inspections, I would try to ask to have it done at least so it's uniformly easy for me as part of my entire inspection process. Um, I think it's harder to have like, this one goes into effect this date, this one goes into effect this date, this one goes into effect this date. So I think it's just something that we should, and I think they're pretty good regs to begin with, um, but I'm, and I think it would be a very good thing to give people a time frame to, to understand them, to make plans for them, but I, I, I think they're a pretty decent set of regulations already. That's why I'm, I'm just going to okay. just add that into this. If you were going to yeah. suggest a time frame, what would you suggest? I'd say maybe, I don't think, I don't think six months is necessary. Um, okay. I think that's a little long. Um, I'd say 60 to 90 days. A lot of these places have them already. Um, I think I think putting a pad underneath it's very important, um, just because of what we went through last summer. But I, I think that um, I think if, if we try to do it so it's pretty well across the board, I just think it would be easier. Because it's just it's an added another added inspection that I have to prepare for, and it's um, we have a lot of food establishments in this town compared to other mm. you know surrounding towns, yeah. and this is just a it's another added piece, and it doesn't necessarily mean that um, I mean I like I said I try to apply for the interns I have another one starting. Um, April, beginning of April, I believe, and I'm very enthused because he's a medical doctor. On you know, is it also getting his awesome. master's in public health? But um, I and I also applied for um, another intern for the summer, like how I got Megan. And I think all of those things are great, but you're, it's the luck of the draw. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I, I think it's you know we're it's a lot of work as you can tell, for all the things that we try to do here as a board. Okay. Okay. So, um, that being said, uh, Mary, if you could put the uh, dumpster regulation on the next uh, agenda as the number one item on the agenda, and hopefully we can start addressing that at our next meeting. So, if you haven't been reading it lately, you might want to take another read through it before two weeks from now when we meet, so we can just start. Can we limit the number of agenda items so that we can develop more time to that? Yeah, and, and, and it, even if we had 30 items on it, I can I can override all of them just okay. to get through it if that's what we need to okay. do. So that's that's the one freedom the chairman has about that is even if the agenda is packed, I can make a decision that okay. the meeting will be spent on the on that referendum alone, and we'll have to put off that to the next okay. meeting unless there's something important that comes up in the next two weeks. Of course, we want to address anything that came up that's important for us to deal with. And the next meeting is it not the time? April 7th, and it will be in this room. What is the town? Meeting? The town meeting's June, June 9th. It was supposed to be April 7th, and they postponed it. For oh, months. somehow I've missed that. Yeah. 
Okay, so. But we do have an election in April, though, right? April 26. Okay. Um, I have nothing else on my agenda, so I'm looking for a uh, motion. Motion to adjourn. Second. You have a motion to adjourn and second. Is there anything further to say on it? All in favor say aye. Aye. You guys have it.